Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having the most amazing day. It is a sunny, sunshiny, beautiful day here in Canada and it's September, which does not happen always. If you live in Canada, if you live in Alberta specifically, you know that September's either go one of two ways. The early entrance to fall, which is rude. I don't mean to criticize mother nature, but I'm always a little confused when on the calendar year, we're still technically in summer and the leaves are changing. Or we get a beautiful, like full summer September, but it appears that we are not getting that this year because when I was on my solo overnight hike, we were already getting changing colors. I was not here for it. I put in a formal request if we could get a full summer for all the full months of summer, but it appears my request has been denied this year. So we're just making the best of what we have around here. So it's nice out, we're going outside. Yesterday, I spent the day with some girls that live in a city near me and I just, people that are so good for my soul and today I get to see my best friend, which is like, you guys know. She's the only person that I ever really show on here because I really try and respect my friends and family's privacy and it's a choice that I've made, not everyone. But you guys know Beck, you've seen her. She, we'd also just spend so much time together that it would probably be hard for me to get any content with her not in it. <laughs> My best friend is coming out today and we're going on a little adventure. We're gonna go for a swim and we're gonna go for a cute little picnic at this like one of my favorite spots. It's this gorgeous ridge. I will, I'm gonna bring you along so that you can see it. It is so gorgeous. And then we're gonna have a cute little picnic there and have dinner there. So I have to decide what we're gonna have for dinner. She really did girl me in this. I was like, what are you feeling? And she was like, nothing. I'm just like not really hungry. And like, nothing sounds good. I was like, oh, is this how dudes feel? Cause this feels hard. This feels very challenging. What am I supposed to feed you? So I haven't figured that out yet, but I need to get packed for everything else. And then we'll make a quick trip to the grocery store. But what I wanted to show you first is I got a new toy and I wanted to pop on and talk to you about it. So you guys know that I am newer-ish to the photography world. I say that kind of laughingly. I had my X-T30 for years. I would say I could do what I needed to with it. But the last couple of years I've been trying to learn more with it because it's just been more interesting and I've been enjoying it and it's been more fun. So I've just kind of been playing around with my camera more. But my X-T30 actually, while I was on a trip, screen, stopped working, which wasn't the end of the world because it was still, I could still shoot and I could still use my viewfinder. I was also on a work trip. I was on a brand trip, which was not ideal to have your camera die. In that moment, I realized I don't have another camera body. This is not ideal. So in that time, I realized I needed to send my X-T30 in to get fixed because I do really love that camera. But then at the same time, I was like, I should probably get another camera so that I have two. So if something happens to one, I'm not it's like not an issue because I do need a camera for work. I had posted on my Instagram about this, just asking for different opinions when it comes to different cameras. I feel like within the camera space, there are so many people that have so many opinions. It's so funny. I feel like everyone's either really easy going in camera land or not as easy going. And it's very like, you've got to do it this way in camera land. I don't know camera land well enough to have much of an opinion yet. <laughs> For me personally, anyways, I wasn't necessarily tied to staying with the Fuji camera, but I had an X-T30 previously. It is away getting fixed right now. And I really did love that camera. And then the other piece of it is all of my lenses are Fuji lenses. So to switch systems now, it's not the end of the world. I could sell my lenses and get different lenses. And I'm sure I could get some either like off of marketplace or whatever else and buy like a bundle. If I were to sell mine, I'd probably do it the same way. So I'm sure I could switch brands and it wouldn't be a huge deal, but I really like shooting with Fuji, so I personally decided just to stay with that. And so when it came to a camera, I wanted to get something. The big thing that my X-T30 couldn't do, there was a couple things it couldn't do that I wanted in another camera, was I wanted a camera that the screen fully flipped out. Because when I'm shooting, a lot of times I'm shooting self-portrait, so I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And I can connect my phone to it, but this is just so much easier. And the other thing I wanted was in-body stabilization. So the one thing with my X-T30 is if I was going to shoot a video, there was no in-body stabilization, so it was really shaky. It wasn't ideal. I could set it up and just film on a tripod like this, but if I was actually out, like on a hike or anything like that, it was just it was a little more tedious. And I'm a huge advocate of you want to limit any barriers to doing something. If something is hard, we're just not gonna do it. You guys know this, I'm a health coach. So we've gotta make it as easy as we can. Otherwise, we're just likely not going to do that. So when it came to looking for another camera, those were the two kind of big things that I wanted. 
And then the other piece is because I hike with my camera all the time and it's usually just clipped on the front of my pack into my camera clip, I wanted something that was gonna be really big or really heavy. When it comes to camera, you can either have something that is weatherproof, waterproof, I wanna say they say weather resistant, or light and smaller and compact. I w went with lighter, smaller and compact. It's tough with hiking because you don't want something that's gonna get wet and get wrecked, but you also don't want something that's really big and heavy. And the heavier the camera is on the front of my pack, it kind of pulls my full pack forward because I typically actually just hike with a running vest on. And running vests are different than actual conventional packs because you don't have straps. You typically just have like little elastic clips on the front. So I do kind of have to be cognizant just of like the weight and how it wears and everything else. So I ended up going with the Fujifilm XS20 and I actually love this camera. So I've had it for a few weeks now. I will say when I first got it, my one complaint was it kept giving me a heat and overheating exclamation mark, kept getting mad at me, but I took it into my local camera shop. Thank you, McBain, when I was in the city and they fixed that for me. It's now not getting mad and hot and just shutting off on me. Cause I was like, excuse me, camera. We can't just be shutting off all the time. Ah, I've been super happy with that. I will insert some photos that I've already taken with it. I've gone to a few different really beautiful hot springs. I've gone on quite a few really gorgeous hikes. I brought it with me on my overnight. It has been amazing so far. So, so far, I really love this. Now that we've had our little like new toy chit chat. Also, one more question for you, if you are a camera person. Someone at one point told me, and I don't know why I listened to this because usually I'm the most skeptical person in the world. I very, very rarely am like, okay, Someone at some point, and I can't remember who even said this, told me, gave me the pitch for prime lenses. And I bought what they were selling. The only issue with prime lenses is I typically am hiking with a pack. And so then I have to bring a whole bunch of different lenses. And so I don't wanna carry a whole bunch of extra weight because that sounds not that much fun. So I typically will only hike with my 35 and maybe I'll bring my 60. I have a couple other lenses. I just very rarely, rarely bring them. My 35 is almost always what I shoot with because the lens is quite small. This is my 35. It's really small. It's super easy to hike with. This on my camera body doesn't make it very big or bulky, especially wearing it. It's easy. It sh this takes really great photos. I love this lens. She's my girl, but sometimes it would be nice to have options without having to carry multiple lenses. So I've been thinking, maybe I want to get a zoom lens. So I've looked at a couple of them. In my head, that for sure makes the most sense for what I'm doing. But then Team Prime really is in that camp. You are a camera person. If you live in camera land, zoom lens? Are you a zoom lens person? How do we feel about zoom lenses? I'm feeling like this is what I want. I'm feeling like this is what it will be like the best fit for me. For the things that I need. I'm looking at a couple lenses right now. One of them is the Fujifilm. I believe it's the 18 to 80 and it's an F4. My 35 is an F2.8 and then my 60 is an F2 and those are the two lenses that I usually shoot with. So it feels well-rounded but not exactly there. I'm not 100% sure yet. If you have any recommendations though, let me know. I will link the lenses that I have that I absolutely love in my description on here for you. And then I'll link the cameras as well. Enough chit chatting, let's get back to our night adventure. And then we have to run to the grocery store, grab some things for dinner. I still have no idea what to feed my best friend who said that she's craving nothing. Um, so wish me the best of luck with that because I have never felt more pressure before. And if this is how dudes feel every time they go on a date, you know what? I just go with ice cream every time, but I can't pack ice cream to have a picnic on the side of a mountain because it's gonna take a while to get there and the ice cream would melt. Like, what else do you do? Am I packing cookies for dinner? Like, that's not a healthy dinner. Anyways, we have to get the little adventure. You know the drill. It's the car bin. You guys know the drill. This comes with me on every adventure. It has all of my stuff in it so that my vehicle's not a complete disaster when I'm driving. So all of my things go just in this lovely little tote here. Nice little travel toe. I have something in here right now. Some things just kind of live in here. Like this little, this seems to be like the summer little thing that lives in here. Just a little packable water bottle. We have some face sunscreen, some body sunscreen. Also get the spray stuff. You're not gonna put it on if you have to rub it in. If you just have to spray it on, there's a better chance you'll apply it. Some bug spray, cause they've been terrible this year. Bear spray, safety first. Some plastic bags just because they're always good to have a shell some little gloves a lighter 
and a headlamp. These things just live in this little tote that lives in the bigger tote. It's a tote and a tote. Step one, baby wipes. These are just helpful to have. No, I don't have a baby. These are just, if you make a mess, if your hands are gross from hiking, you peed on your leg when you peed outside, you peed on your foot because you were wearing sandals, you have sand on your foot from going in the lake. Also, don't look at me weird. Yes, I know. If you're a dude and you're watching this, you have aim. If you're a girl and you're watching this, you're like, I tried to aim. And I know some people do the whole shoey thing, but it's just, it's feeling like bad math to me. It's just feeling like I'd need to practice to get good at it. And I don't think I want to, you'd need baby wipes to practice. See, you need them. Next up, we're going to bring a tripod. This is just like a, if you're a content creator, I would highly recommend buying this tripod because if you do anything actually, and you have to film or record or photograph anything, these are just super handy. This is the clip for the bottom of my camera. There's a clip that goes into my pack and then this clip also just goes into here so I don't have to take this piece off every time, which is really nice. And then I just have a phone mount on one leg. So it just does everything that I need. Very, very convenient. Highly recommend this little guy. Camera bag. We will throw in XS20. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I do hum and sing through my whole life. I am one of those people. Then we'll bring a 35 because she's my favorite. She is my favorite child and a 60. I also like her, but she's my favorite. You know how parents say they don't have a favorite child? They do. It's not me, but they have one. This one's mine. Drugs, just kidding, no drugs. This is protein powder for my girly friend because she, whey protein doesn't always sit the best for her, but this is one that always works well for me. So I decided I'd bring some to her in a plastic little bag here to see if it works for her. Any ideas on dinner yet? The worst part is even if you comment something that is the perfect thing, it will have been too late. I will have already have hacked this up. I really don't. I hope I don't hack it up, okay? These were from a brand deal that I did 500 years ago. They're little portable camping chairs. They're super small. I always bring them when I go on picnics and these are the best things ever. I don't think this company exists anymore, but I will link a similar one down below for you. They're just super small and they're actually comfortable. My ex-husband used to refer to regular camping chairs like the tiny ones as ball crushers, not ball crushers. These were a topic of debate in my divorce. That's the funniest part. I was like, no, no, that is a work thing. I, no, no. Our divorce was, I will talk about it another day. But these were this and the double sleeping bag that also came from this company. <laughs> this is called a chowl. I will also see if this company still exists. This is one of my most packed, most commonly used things. You can see from the, the nice little just like photos here, display photos, you can use it as like 101 different things. It's essentially just like a really compact towel, which is really nice. It also has a head spot though. So you can like drape the whole thing over you, like a little neck. You can wear it kind of like a dress, but you can change inside it if you need. I think they also say it can be like a sleeping bag a blanket, a neck pillow. I've used it mostly as a towel and a little changing tent, but very functional, very compact. If you watched my backpacking video, this is just my little portable stove, my one burner, my pot. So we are going to pack this. This has been in this very, very ratty little bag for, since I was 19, I'm 30, 11 years. I should probably replace the bag. You know, it gave me 11 years of use, but like, I think she's seen better days now and the little drawstring's broken now, but fits so well in here. I'm also assuming I can cook or something, but I don't, I'm not sure if we're feeling hot food or cold food. I'm thinking with her actually, like a cold noodle salad maybe is what she's gonna want. Not 100% sure yet. Plastic Burks. My trail shoes are in the car already and my trail pack is in the car already. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, I need a bathing suit. I can't decide on a bathing suit in this very moment. So we're packing three, I'll put on what I'm feeling. This is the greatest thing that I own. It was a gift from a bestie and it is fantastic. It is a wearable towel. Mine is a mermaid. We need to fill up water bottles, electrolytes, and then we have to go to the grocery store and figure out what I'm gonna feed the hungry girl that doesn't wanna eat anything. This is actually the worst assigned task ever. I, I do not envy dudes. I don't know how you do this. It's easier when it's the two of us and we're like, we're not sure what we wanna eat. When I don't know why I volunteered for this job. This was not, this is not my best move, but 
how hard can it be, right? <laughs> I guess I have one arm of the sweater on. It's warm out. I don't ask. This is really, this is my most natural stay. Confused. Seasonally confused, always. I wasn't 100% sure if the falls were down this road, but we drove down a random back road and they were where I remembered them from six or seven years ago. So win on that guy. So there are some falls over here that we are gonna go down. We just had to hang out with some cows that I think are gone now. Um, we just popped in to see if this trail went to the right place. Yeah, we just, we didn't look at the whole trail. And so we just wore plastic burks, but this is like not, we, sh we needed shoe shoes, but we didn't, yeah, no shoe shoes. So we're just, She's just got a boot scoot down. Yeah, I didn't wear the right footwear, guys. So, uh, footwear is important. Or you just sacrifice your shorts, honestly. Thank God I wore shorts. Yeah, she wasn't going to wear pants. My favorite thing about her is she likes to do everything in a bikini. Um, That only goes so far. This would not work. No shorts, this would be bad time. So, um, make sure to wear some pants, some shoes, and... uh. No, you're doing laundry when you get home. Now she's kicking rocks. Is this really the, the wildlife version of her? Um, it really is. She, she does look cutesy and extra all the time, but she will boot scoot down a hill if she has to. So, um, Madison in the wild, my friends. Okay, you guys, we made it to the falls. And yes, you're like, that's not Madison speaking. It's Becky, because she's doing forest fairy things. Because, you see, very beautiful falls, a very beautiful friend. That's so nice of you. Looking all elegant and forest fairy-esque. Do some forest fairy moves. Frolic. See, very nice, very majestic, very cutesy. I don't know if we're demure yet, but very mindful in this elegant forest fairy light that we have going here. If you guys don't do things at, like, golden hour or like evening afternoon time do it because the sun feels magic and yes i sound nasally it's because i have a cold and you know what this girl makes vitamins that i should be taking but she managed to spend 24 hours in like actually more like 72 hours in the car with me and didn't get sick because we slept in the car and hiked and drove all day and i she still didn't get sick so i would i would buy her vitamins she'll plug them in the caption for you <laughs> Anyway, on that note, here's a beautiful waterfall. Here's my beautiful friend that you guys really like. We decided we have to come back on hair wash day because that is actually a water slide that you can slide down, but then you would get tossed into the water. So we went down over there, but we came up this road because at least there was something to hold on to. Felt more practical. Wear the right shoes, kids. Okay, so we just came back up from our little waterfall adventure, and the best part is, is right now, is one, look at the light, it's really pretty down this road. Two, the car is still half packed from when we went on our backcountry trip last weekend, so that means our best snacks are in there. And we we got onto a, a canned fruit, okay? Hey. It honestly is the move, though. Yeah, so... Because regular fruit gets so gross well, being in a bed. We're trying to keep it in a cooler, and it's getting squishy, and it gets warm. But canned fruit, one, you get a, a little drink. You get a little, little fruit little drink. And then two, you get to eat the peaches. So my favorite are peaches. And I did like the pineapple. The pineapple was good. And we, you just, like, put a straw in it. And they have the pop tops, so you don't need a can opener. Like, yeah. this it was the move, honestly. So you make sure it's got one of these, because otherwise you have to take a can opener with you everywhere. Or get creative. And then canned fruit, my friends. Canned also, fruit. I just want you guys to know, last weekend we went to Wyoming. We went down to Jackson. And we rented a hotel while we were down there, but we camped, like, down and then back up. And we slept in a hotel, in separate beds. We even each had our own beds. And then the next night we slept in Sarah and we were like, why is this more comfortable? Why did we have a better sleep yeah. in our sweet baby angel? I was recently on a solo trip. I took like that solo backpacking trip. And then I went out to a, like a cute little town for the rest of the week and stayed at a really cute Airbnb. And then I was going to go to this other place for another couple days. And I ended up home a couple days early. And Beck was like, what's up? Well, I get a text. I'm I'm coming home on like Friday <laughs> night at 7 p.m. And I know she's at least six hours, if not seven, from home. I'm like, honey, wh why are you coming home? 
I couldn't find a parking spot, <laughs> so I just decided to drive home. I'm like, okay, she's like, like, I'll give her that it was raining, and, like, all of the plans did kind of go to shit because the weather wasn't holding up. And it wasn't raining, like, a little bit. It was, like, torrential downpouring, and I was supposed to do another backcountry trip. She's, she's Her final call was that she couldn't find a parking spot, so she erratically drove seven hours home. That really sums up my personality, though. Yeah, like, if it if it doesn't fit, she doesn't sit. <laughs> <laughs> How comfortable is your chair? Okay, you know these? I'm comfy. Yeah, because like, there's, like, a rock. Like, there's a little bit of a rock, but there's enough back. It's not like it's, like, a normal camp chair. Like, and my butt's, like, nicely in a, in the groove. I'm saying. These things are elite, and they're also really small to pack. Also, look at her view. Like, she's just, like, it's the OOTD Sunset Picnic Edition. Changed, finally. Was wearing my bathing suit still, but um, finally got some clothes on here. Back to the strawberry sweater, which I think I'm... <gasps> Did we lose a strawberry? Oh, we just have to tuck it in. A tragedy. Wow. It's for you? Yeah. I'm just saying, I have now set the dating standard for her. If dudes are not taking you on cute ridgeside mountain picnics with little cute Instagram blankets and cozy chairs, you've Dear been let go. Boyfriend, <laughs> good luck. I highly recommend call it phoning a friend if you want the insider scoop of uh, what's going to make me happy because it's not going to be a fancy restaurant. It's going to be pretty mountains, pretty skies, and sex. And good luck on the trails. I've already taken her to all the best ones. The bar is really high now and she wants to put in not a lot of effort, but we want glacier blue lakes, pointy rocky mountains, no crowds. If there's other humans there, as you can tell, there's no people here because if there's other people there, you lose marks. <laughs> you lose marks. So, yeah, really blue water, really pointy fingy mountains, and um, not no elevation over 900 meters, okay? That is, and, it, and no more than 100 meters of elevation per kilometer of trail, because that's where I draw the line. So I'm not being picky, and I'm not being high maintenance. I'm just saying that these are the standards. Yeah, she's just laying out the rules for you. She exceeds expectations all the time. <laughs> okay, we have dinner now. We have... Sure. Yours has a fork in it, so I'll try to do this oh, one. This okay. One. We have nudes and salad. I'm eating a steak that she cooked a couple days ago because she's weird about leftover food and meat. It's just a thing. But she also uh, has to have your meat dead. Dead again. <laughs> cremated. Burnt to shreds. Ashes cremated. Really Back dead. to cremation. Like, so when I cook steak for us, I put hers on the barbecue probably 20 minutes before I put mine on. I'm a medium rare girly, you know, so I'm actually impressed that I can eat this right now, but she really likes her meat to be dead. And on that note, thanks for coming to hang out. Thanks for coming to our little girls night adventure, sunset, picnic, swim, camera chat, my little adventure vlog here. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of. I'm trying to do more kind of day in the life or just little fun part of my life, bring it along in my pocket kind of vibes here. So if this is the style video that you like, let me know and I will see you in the next one.